you. Uh, I thank the Chairman. You know, normally uh, I begin uh, these hearings by thanking uh, my Republican colleagues for holding a hearing, inviting witnesses to testify on uh, important issues before the Congress, but, you know, that's not appropriate today. The Republican majority closed down the federal government in a vain attempt to repeal or delay the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, as they call it. Well, we're 15 days into a Republican-initiated government shutdown, and now the Republicans want to investigate why the national parks are shut down. Our nation is already threatened with a credit downgrade, close to the point of default, because the Republicans have linked their shutdown now to the debt limit and could trigger the first default in our nation's history. And here we are holding a hearing on why the Republican government shutdown led to a shutdown of our national parks. Instead of trying to prevent economic hardship, potential financial catastrophe, we're having a hearing that is at best nonsensical. I'm going to spend my time talking about how this Seinfeld shutdown or the shutdown about nothing has kept hunters out of refuges, crabbers out of the fishing season, loggers off our timberlands, and uh, citizens out of our national parks. When you decided to shut down the government over two weeks ago, did you forget the national park system, which includes memorials, is part of the federal government? No, you knew that, but you apparently forgot the economic impact our iconic parks have in gateway communities, and you forgot that the American people value their public lands and the solemn tribute of the World War II and other war memorials. The title of this so-called hearing is laughable. As difficult as possible, the National Park Service's implementation of the government shutdown. If you want to spend your time here dissecting individual decisions about what monuments are open, which are closed, let me save you some time. Our national park system is surprisingly part of our national government, which you shut down. And I'm going to demonstrate, very, if the, the Republican side would look at me, I will show you who's responsible right here. Here you are. Who is who's responsible for shutting down the national parks and memorials? Guess what? The Republican cause government shutdowns irresponsible, cause incredible economic hardships for the public servants you have put out of work. And yes, it's painful. It's painful for every single American. And that's why we don't shut the government down on a year-to-year -year basis. This hearing is a sideshow. It's political theater. Are we meeting here today to amplify the efforts of Senator Cruz? Senator Lee and Sarah Palin last Sunday on the networks. Do we really need to give a platform for a group of people cheering when their leader, Larry Klayman, said, quote, wage a second American nonviolent revolution to use civil di disobedience, to demand that this president leave town, to get up, to put the Koran down, to get up off his knees, to figuratively come out with his hands up while others went to the White House waving Confederate flags. Maybe the majority wants to give a megaphone to groups like the Competitive Enterprise Institute. They're here today. They once called expanding our federal estate rural cleansing. Really? Rural cleansing? Our parks, our monuments, that was rural cleansing. You'd take them away, you'd give them back, you'd sell them. Well, you can continue to engage in your irresponsible talk and try and make the Park Service and our park rangers the target of your own ineptitude and intransigence but we're not going to play that game. I would yield the balance of my time to uh, Representative Grijalva. Uh, 